Hello, welcome. I thought we'd have a look at the lights that I've just been fitting to the, the new engine shed um, or diesel depot, whatever you would like it, you know, you'd like to call it. Uh, so, as you can see, I've been fitting some spotlights around the building. The, I've just fitted four, so one above each door, one above each opening. And I'd just like to show you um, how I've actually created these lights. Um, and uh, I'll just show you the, the underneath as well. So I've created a, a lighting bus just underneath. So just use two copper strips. Um, I've put the resistors to that. Uh, because obviously these, these ones here are just 3 volts and I needed a 1k resistor, just drop the 12 volts down to 3 volts and I've also put a strip light on there that, which is actually 12 volts I've just glued that on and made a couple of extra um, supports for the light so it didn't sit right on the, the roof line itself so you don't get so much light bleed through it if you was going to get some. Um, I've also soldered that up to the bus and then so it just means there's one cable going to come through and I'm going to hide that cable I'm going to print a piece of the uh, printed paper put a small trunking on the on there which will hide that it's also hidden from the main view of the uh, the layout by being at the back of the build you know at the front of the building so you don't really see it from the um, the angle that you view the building out. Now, how I've actually created these um, spotlights, I use these very cheap yard lights or spotlights. You can buy them um, very cheap on eBay. Some of them, you know, you can get from China if you're willing to wait, and you can get quite a lot for your money. And they're really good for creating the spotlights on buildings. Um, you've just got to be a bit careful when you cut them off or break them off. Um, so I'll just put that to one side. Just uh, the first thing I always do is because these are actually the LEDs are actually loose in there, and it's only held on by just the wires in there. So it's best to just put a couple of drops of super glue just in there. Let them dry. It keeps all the LEDs nice and firm in in the whole housing, and then you can sort of just break them off. You've just got to be so careful not to break the wires really. Um, one of the ways I tend to find is I can pull the tube out and then start to break the wire, not to break the plastic off. So you should have really been as gentle as possible because the worst thing you really want is you've spent all this time trying to and you, you break one of the wires off the LED it's not very easy to solder on. They're very they're like surface mount LEDs, but if you've got plenty of these lights, it's not a major issue. But just be a bit careful when you put a super glue on as well, because you don't want to glue the actual um, housing to that. So, or any of the wires to the housing or anything like that. So, and it's just gently pull the wires out. Um, I'm not sure if that one's going to come out that easy on this side. So you do sometimes ever end up with a little bit of scrap. But as you can see that one's nice and free on this side. So I will have to have a look at that one. I think it's stripped the wires so I don't think that one will be usable. Um, so and then it is just really getting the rest of the plastic off, just be very careful um, and it will come off nice and easy and you'll be left with just a couple of nice spotlights and you're then left with, see if this will focus in um, just a very small spotlight, you just need a, to drill a, a small hole um, around about two and a half mil. that will sit nicely in that. But the best thing to always do, just before, use like some sort of 3 volt battery or 
have a, um, a resistor with a uh, 1k resistor with a 9 volt battery as you don't want to blow the LED but always give them a test so let me hopefully you can see that light up because you don't want to end up fitting that light um, let me, it's, uh, so you don't want to end up fitting the light and it not working after you've all spent all the time getting it out, fitting it to the building. Um, these make really good little cheap spotlights. You can actually buy the proper ones, but you don't really need to. You do get sometimes a bit of light bleed comes through the back. So just paint them black, you can do it after you've fitted them or before you've fitted them. Um, you can do them after, because if you don't get any of the light bleed, then it's not really an issue. But if you do find that you're getting some light bleed through, because they are quite a thin piece of plastic, they are very cheap, um, but they do the job very nicely. Um, as you can see, let's let's get this um, on a nine volt battery, just to make sure it's all all working still. I do test as I'm going along, always. Like you don't want to finish and then find that you've got an LED that's out. I'm not sure if you can see all this from the camera but it's like you can see the spotlights on the front there so you should be able to see that um, and I've put the lighting inside and spotlights on the side so you can see and um, they are quite effective so I'm going to get this fitted into the layout um, and then start detailing the layout. The layout is almost complete really. I've just got to wire the fill yard points up. I've wired up all the other points are all wired and all working, all tested. And I just need to do the fill yard points now. So I'm going to have this fitted to the layout and then we can have a look at that. and. Uh, I fitted the engine shed to the layout, wired all the lighting up, so you can see we've got the spotlights on the outside, so we have a nice warmer light on the inside, and you should be able to see, hopefully, the uh, inspection pit lights. And there we go. The layout, all the buildings now finished, all the lighting finished, detail to be added. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.